It's almost February, my favorite month for making goals. My goal this month will be to improve in my miniature painting. So first I want to start with my uh, kind of retrospective of how painting has gone in the last year, uh, which is pretty much the sum total of my painting experience and how painting um, has progressed over that year from month to month. So I've picked one model from each month and um, then we'll see how much I can improve in one month. The first model that I painted is a uh, skeleton, WizKids skeleton. Um, basically just a couple colors and a wash. And of course, my goal was to have some uh, tabletop playability, and that's pretty much it. And of course, my character, Mirex, who uh, the bard of our party um, painted pretty much in the same style, a little more color. And as our party advanced, we had to, uh, had to have some bigger foes. So an ogre joined the party, but still, again, just uh, pretty much some colors and wash. A myconid of sorts joined in the fray soon after that. A few more colors, uh, maybe a little bit of an attempt at wet blending at the top, not very successful. My first conversion mini, in which I made a character to, uh, that I tried to make look like myself, and um, I forged a little axe out of some nail heads, and uh, did a little bit more advanced painting uh, with highlights on the jacket. Eladar Flan, uh, more highlights yet, and um, a little bit of what I tried to make were glowing runes on his scroll. More complex, this is, um, I think it's Oswald the Overladen, and just a lot more details. I also added skis and ski poles. Val Vi, a powerful character who is the torchbearer in the D&D &D Olympics. And then I started getting into uh, non-metallic metal painting. So trying to do this um, pretty early in my stage in painting. So. Um, just beginning to see how that works. Continued with my NMM with this necromancer, Vesnon. And an orc chieftain. She is carrying a an obsidian headed axe. And I tried to make it look like it has conchoidal fractures on the axe head. Tried to make shining wood on the uh, the guitar of this character, Pyra, the bard. And then I started getting into Games Workshop miniatures and um, this Grimgast Reaper. I painted with quite a bit of blending, um, made some marble, uh, marble stone effect on the base, uh, and just continued to increase my details. And one of my most recent, a halfling blood bowler. So I've uh, come along, those are just some, about one a month um, of the miniatures that I've painted. Now, my goal is to paint one miniature each day, and I'm going to try to um, post a very quick video about how this is going as I go along and at the end, I will compare a miniature that I've just painted with another miniature of the same sort uh, and see if after 28 days I have improved. The miniature that I have picked out is a um, just finished uh, Space Wolf, Space Marine. And so I'm going to pick um, another Space Wolf Space Marine and paint in the same style, it'll be part of the same squad. Um, I'm going to paint another one and we'll compare the two and see 
how much I can improve in one month of painting every day. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your valor.